Welcome back guys, my name is Brittany. If you are new here, hello, hi, nice to meet you. Please become a part of our family and make sure to hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit the notification bell so you never miss out on any videos. And also make sure to follow me on Twitter so that way you are in the know with our little family that we have going on here. Hi, welcome, how are you guys today? Oh my gosh, so today we're going to be building a eco-living home. I gave in, I decided to purchase the eco-living um, expansion pack, and I was like, you know what, we're going to try it out. We're going to, I kept watching tons of videos of people building very cute eco homes and I really wanted to try the build items and I really got to be honest with you guys. I am so impressed by the build items. My god. Now I didn't get to use all the items um, that were included in this expansion in this build, but I am going to continue using these items because my god, they are so beautiful. The, the shelves with the plants on them, oh my god, so beautiful. I totally like overlooked the bookshelves and I didn't get to use them in this build so when I went back to like playtest it is when I found it and I was like oh my god why didn't I use these in the build but I, I don't know I, I guess I completely overlooked them and so I'm going to I'm going to continue using them because they are they have become my favorite Oh my god, they're, they're so beautiful, you guys. I love this pack. It's so good in build mode items. I really love it. Now, did I think it was worth the $40? I, I don't know. To be honest with you guys, I'm going to be real honest because I'm not really into gameplay. Um, I tried. I tried playing the pack. I just There's just something about The Sims 4 that I just can't really get into anymore Like with gameplay. I've played The Sims 2 and The Sims 3, and I really liked playing those games, but for some reason I never was able to get into The Sims 4. It's just so different, and I just, I don't know, I'm just not really into it. I don't know why, it's just one of those things. So I like to build, I just build, 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 and that's what I like to do. So, you know, I'm kind of happy I made the purchase. I think it was worth it for those who really like to play the game and really like The Sims 4 gameplay, you know, I think it's a worth it's worth the 40 bucks. I, I gotta tell you. Now the world, I wasn't impressed. I don't like the world. <laughs> um, I think it's ugly. I think it's really, really ugly. I'm sorry. Um, and I was just trying, I was trying to play the expansion pack so I can start cleaning up the world because I just can't see myself ever building in this world. I just had a really hard time building this really beautiful eco home like in this really ruggedy neighborhood and it's not really ruggedy it's just like it's just trash everywhere and you know graffiti and you know, there's just it's a little ugly right now. I you know that's I can't really use another word to describe it and honestly I just really <laughs> Ah, uh, I don't know. I'm just not, I'm not a fan. I just don't see myself building in this world. But I do love the build items that did come from this pack. I think it was definitely worth the money, again, for those of you who like doing the gameplay. I'm sure there's sheets that allow me to, like, shift the world. Um, I know there's certain sheets that allow you to, like, shift the weather. So I'm pretty sure I can do the same with the world. I just have to figure it out. <laughs> if anybody knows um, if you can do that yet... Uh, let me know in the comments down below because, uh, yeah, I would love to know if there's something like that that's possible. And then that way I can just make it nice and pretty instantly and then I can build in it and make it nice. I don't know. Because I could see, like, a really, like, I see potential in the town, I really do, but, like, I really don't want to play the game to get it there. I'm just, yeah, I'm that person, I know, I'm annoying. <laughs> uh. Anyway, uh, I had a really hard time planning out the layout of this house because I just really wasn't sure how I was going to make the floor plan. I just wasn't really planning ahead of time. I didn't really look at floor plans and I think I made the rooms way too big. Um, so, I mean, if you want to download this 
It's available on the gallery, and if you want to expand your family and make those rooms smaller, and you can have more sims living there, because, let me tell you, I, I have a tendency of making overly sized rooms, and I think that's just me liking having a big room. I don't know what it is. I just have an obsession of big open spaces. I'm sorry. I can't help myself. So y you get what you get. Y yeah. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I did make the kitchen pretty small. This is an open layout, by the way. So when you walk in, it's very open. The kitchen, the living room, dining area, all in the same room. And I really actually like the way it came out. I used a mixture of like tiny living with the new pack items. And I just gotta tell you guys, I really love these couches. They're very boho. And I have so many visions of creating like a ton of boho apartments with these couches. And I think I'm gonna end up coming up like a series of just like boho uh builds. I love that style. I really, really do. And I think it's one of my favorite um, type of styles to to create. And so I think that I'm definitely going to do a bohemian theme build in the, some, in the near future, sometime soon. I'm not sure when, but I have a lot of things lined up right now. I have um, with the group that I'm in, I'm in the Simmer Squad group in, on Twitter, and I'm on their Discord, and they have like monthly ch monthly challenges. And this month, you have to like create a vacation home. And honestly, I have so many ideas, and I think that's what I'm gonna do next. I think I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do their their um, monthly challenge first, and then after that, I don't know, I think I have a, a vision in my head, and I'm probably going to start working on it now, because it's going to be one of those projects that it's, it's going to take a long time to do, um, but I have a vision of like a farm slash like vineyard <laughs> slash, wait for it, wedding venue. Yeah, I don't know. It, it just popped into my head. I've been listening to too much country and this is what happens when I listen to country music. I get very romantic and all this stuff and I get ideas about wedding venues and honestly I've been wanting to, to build one for a while so I think that's what we're gonna do next. Um, so you'll expect something like that soon for me um but yeah i'm really excited for like my oncoming projects and stuff and i've just been really i just been doing so much better you guys i've been loving doing this and honestly i'm just it makes me so happy to build for you guys and i love when i get such great response on twitter and when i showed you just the, the screenshot of like the front of the house people loved it so i i honestly I really hope that you guys enjoyed the inside of this house as well. I did try to put a lot into it. I tried to use as much as I could from the pack. I made it very minimalistic. I just thought that this stuff really looked really nice. Like, you know, I just like to decorate my house in a way where I'm kind of like showing it off. Like as if I was selling it, you know? So I'm like you know, putting little things here and there, a little bit decor here, but not like overly clutter the house. That's just my my style. I like a very minimalistic look. Um, maybe one of these days I'll do a very cluttered, like lived in house. I think you guys would probably really like that for me, but also cluttering a house is kind of exhausting. I'm not gonna lie. It does take a long time just to you know, do a minimalistic look. <laughs> so cluttering a house, that would take forever. And I always try to keep my videos short too. I, I've been doing really good at keep, keeping them under 20 minutes for you guys. So I don't know. I just, it's all up to what you guys want me to do. I, if you guys really want me to do a very cluttered house, I will. Um, but for now, I'm just going to stick to the minimalistic look. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I would love to know everyone's opinion on this pack too. I really want to know what y'all think of it. Do you like the pack? Do you not like the pack? Why don't you like the pack? I just, I want to know. I want to know what 
everyone's opinions are and you know I just want to see how everyone else feels about it overall for me I love the build items the world not a fan of I'm just not a fan of industrial cities in, in general um, I, I'm a country gal. I really like to just be out in big open spaces, so I'm not very big on city life. Although I do like city living because of the apartments. Um, I do like that we did get apartments in this city though. I really, really, really like that. Um, I totally forgot about that until now. Um, but yeah, this, the apartments are so nice here and they're actually like realistic looking too. Um, so I thought that was very cool that there is there is apartments here in this uh, town. What's it called again? Evergreen or something like that? Um, it, <laughs> I don't even know what the town is called. I'm sorry, you guys. Um, but no, it's I'm I'm really excited about the apartments. I think that might be something I might do next is an apartment too. Um, so that's going on the list of things that I need to do. <laughs> Anyway, with that being said, you guys, we are coming towards the end of the video. Um, I just kind of want to share a few thoughts here. Um, I'm really, really happy um, about where my own personal life is going right now. And with me being very happy and productive, I just feel like I'm... I'm loving what I'm doing when I'm like building and everything it just makes me feel like more comfortable and I'm just really excited to be back and building for you guys now I know this is like my second build like you know from like me being gone and I'm not trying to say this to like you know get pity or anything like that because I'd rather like have somebody listen to this and be like um you know who's in my position and say like I'm not the only one you know I'm not the only one and you're not you know I'm I'm here for you too if anybody you know needs to talk about anything I am here um, as a friend and I just want to let you know that it's okay to feel certain ways this right now there are a lot of things in the world that are very very heavy um, and can be very overwhelming sometimes so don't ever feel like it's not okay to feel the way you feel it is okay to feel I feel like shit all the time because of all the, sh the stuff that has been going on but you know at the end of the day we just have to you know be there for each other and show kindness and sh show some love and you know that's that's basically it so with that being said Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much to everybody who watches my videos. I really, really love you guys. Thank you so much. It's like we're we're a little family now. I really, really enjoy making bills for you guys because I know you're going to watch every time and, and you know, support me and stuff. And I, I really, really appreciate y'all. So thank you so much. With that being said, um... Don't forget to follow me on Twitter if you haven't already. Um, and also, this will be available on the gallery. It is already up and in, in there. So if you want to download this, you can. It's under my sim ID, BMX Mathis. And make sure that you guys have BB Move objects on before downloading this house. Okay, guys. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.
Bye.